Whoops. Top of the board, dear ladies. My name is not Jacksepticeye. I am Scooty underscore Pooty. And welcome to my video. I'm going to show all you beautiful people how to transform to the lovely, amazing, adorable Irishman known as Jacksepticeye. Okay. Let's begin. Hello! Okay, so I already put on my foundation and we're good to go. Now we're gonna start with the brows, the iconic, bushy, amazing arched brows. So I'm gonna take my angle eyebrow brush and a bit of dark brown eyeshadow and just move the arch of my brow more to the center and make it a lot thicker. And here I run away because I need to get concealer to cover up the inner of my brow because it was too thick for what Jax is and it was bothering me. So just apply it, put some powder foundation onto it so it can blend out and it won't look too terrible. <laughs> So now I do that to the other brow, and we're good. So now we're gonna do the eyes. So Jack has uh, more hooded lids than I do, so I'm just taking dark brown eyeshadow and creating a downward looking wing and then blending that out to create the illusion of downward motion of the eyeball, and you could see that it's different than my other side. And then I realized I turned on the light and I was like, wow, that's light. I should have had that on before. Now we're gonna make the anger lines between the eyebrows. That's what they're called. So I'm still taking brown eyeshadow and just putting lines where I see fit and then blending them out. Now we're gonna go to the nose. I'm taking a blend, a small blending brush and taking brown eyeshadow and creating a wider, more, I guess, sort of buttonish type nose, not exactly, but you know what I mean, you know, that nose he has, that, that really cute nose. Okay, so I'm taking lighter powder and just putting that on the corners of my nose and just all over to make it look wider, and then going back in with brown eyeshadow and going over it again to make my nose squishier. So I'm just putting brown eyeshadow on the bridge to make it look less tall because I'm sure it's not as tall as my nose. And then I put brown eyeshadow underneath the tip of my nose to make it still squishier. And that's done. So now I'm taking a mix of brown and black face paint, really crappy, uh, just Walmart face paint, so yeah. And we're going to do the beard. So this entire time I'm looking at a reference picture of Jack head on, so it's always good to have a reference picture if you're doing real people as a makeup look or something and such. So I'm just taking the angled brush, a mix of brown and black, and just moving in upward and downward short strokes to make the beard hairs. Now I'm going back in and darkening it on the chin because I didn't feel like it was dark enough. And just completing the other side because if you had half of a beard that'd look a little weird, but hey, I'm not gonna judge. I'm the one who's sitting here trying to look like Jack's after guy. But 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 okay. Now I'm just finishing up that little goatee area, whatever that is, I don't know what that is. I thought I looked like an evil villain at that point, which was amazing, but anyway. Now we're gonna do the mustache. So still same mix of black and brown face paint with an angle brush, short, short stroke motions, going downward and just filling that area with beard hairs. Now we're gonna go back to the nose because I thought my nose still looked a li little too tall for his. So I'm taking brown eyeshadow again and just going more away from the bridge of my nose and shading there and I'm having a great time with the brush <laughs> under my nose apparently. Anyway, to make it a bit wider. 
Now we go under the lip to make a little bit of a shadow with brown eyeshadow. And then it pains. Now for the lips. His lips are a little pinker than mine at the moment, so I just took a red lipstick crayon and just carefully dabbed it into the area. And then I take a clean finger and just rub it all in, blend it out so it's not like completely lipstick on my lips or his. And then I realize I jab my nails into the eyeshadow palette and I start freaking out for a second. But anyway, now I'm going to do the smile lines, which I kind of already have, but I want to emphasize it a little bit more. So I'm just taking brown eyeshadow again and just putting it on a smaller angle brush and putting little lines on the sides of my nose. And then I blend it, blend it, blend it, because Jack is not that kind of an old man yet. Then I go back and put in more angry lines, which I probably shouldn't have done, but eh, it's there anyway. So now the hair. You could spray it with green hairspray, but I don't have any more, so I'm just going to use this Jacksepticeye hat, yeah, to cover my hair, and here's where I fiddle around for like five years trying to figure out the best way to wear the hat. Best way to wear the hat so it looks the best, I think at least. Just tuck your hairs away. And then spend five years figuring out the hat and look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at my dongle, bro. Like my dongle. Anyway, <laughs> tuck that, tuck that dongle away. What are you doing with it? Okay. And we're done. Do the signature Jack pose and just like, that's not signature, but do other poses. I have kind of elf ears too. I've been called a stupid elf before, so I kind of match Jack, so it's great. And here's more posing and the great hat that I bought on fanfiber.com slash Jackson. The guy, what? Oh, okay. Normally you'd have blue contacts, but I don't. Anyway, but I do have picture editing. Okay, part two. Part two is anti. So I took forever trying to figure out how to edit that, but it was okay. It was good. So now I take black and red face paint, I hope you can see this, and put it just where I want the cut to be and just dragging that red color down. Mixing the black and the red on the neck will create more depth and an illusion of an actually cut neck. Now we get to bring out the fake blood, my favorite part of course, and then I squeezed out too much and made a mess, but that's okay. So we splatter that fake blood wherever you deem necessary. You want to drag it out more, you want to put as much as you want, as little as you want, make it as gross as you want, and die a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm done, yeah! Now some silly posing, okay? Yeah. I don't know. Now I'm done. Bye bye <laughs>